Look at that. <laughs> oh, we've got some carnage. What's up? Welcome to Ingenuity and another episode of Project Becky. For those of you that are new here, there's a thingy up there to get you all caught up. Today, we're converting the all-wheel drive Subaru Transaxle to two-wheel drive. First order of business is to remove the shifter assembly. You do this by, there's actually two roll pins. There's a large one and then there's a smaller one inside the larger one uh, that hold this in. So you just punch this out, it slides right off. Next up, we just have to blast off these 14 millimeter bolts and then coax this tail housing off. Hmm. Well, so for those of you that don't know anything about me, one of the things that I like to do is resurrect things. It's just a tick that I have, um, a sickness, a disease. So one of the reasons that I picked this transmission for this project was the fact that it had a grenaded center diff. That said, <laughs> We might be in some serious trouble because I might have grenaded a little too much because you know when you convert these to a two-wheel drive transaxle You obviously don't need the center diff right but <laughs> The planetary gear set that makes up that cent that center diff coupling that's in there. It's like it like exploded inside um, So here's a couple pieces of the diff that have come out you can see um, It's just all kinds of nasty in there um, It's just your pieces. These see, these still seem to ride fairly smooth. This bearing seems fine, so we might be okay. Um, I don't know. We're gonna have to do some surgery here and try to get that center diff removed because um, I definitely need to get that out <laughs> in order to do this conversion. So thousands of tears later. Well, <sighs> yeah, that escalated quickly. <laughs> As you can see, the transmission is out of the car. Uh, more importantly, the center diff is out. What I ended up having to do was, I don't have a slide hammer, so I just kind of made my own. But yeah, basically just hook this, um, this side, hook the long bolt into the, uh, into the little portholes uh, the, that are on the side there, um, and then just weld on that other bolt. This works great if you run into a center diff that's stuck inside of a, Subaru transaction <laughs> and you need to get it out. That's one way to get it out. Um, I'm expecting with the amount of metal and Just all the broken little chunks that came out of this thing. This thing grenaded pretty hard um, Which doesn't give me a lot of faith in the lifespan of this unit um, If it even has one at all, <laughs> we might actually fire this thing up and it just might growl and whine and buck and jerk who knows where That's what you get um, when, when you're dealing with this kind of stuff, right? So, but that's what makes life interesting, does it not? So our next opponent here is the steak nut. I've already gone in with a punch and uh, pushed the stakes back out to hopefully break it free. And then I just have a pair of vice grips that are holding the output shafts of the front differential. And that should uh, hold it still while we hammer it off. What we need to do then is we need this input from the center diff because we need to lock that outer gear. We don't need the output because we have no rear drive shaft. Look at that, we're adding lightness. <laughs> we don't need these spider gears. There we go. Um, we're going to obviously need our retaining nut. Um, we're going to need our two spline sections, this guy to go on the little gear and this guy because it slides into the little gear. We're going to need the taper bearings to center this inside the center diff housing. Basically, the operative theory is um, 
this is gonna sit, when this is inside the transmission, this sits flush, so we just need to weld that so it sits flush. And then stick this in here with those roller bearings and then weld this collar inside here to make sure that this doesn't move. Um, that's so it's all one locked, one locked assembly. And then we just cut this and we should be good to go. Okay, so there we go. We got the weld run all the way around. Now those two pieces are locked together. Now we put the other side in. All right, so now that we're left with this, as you can see, the bearing, uh, I thought I was down further, or up higher than the bearing, but I guess not. <laughs> Probably gonna have to cut it right on that line. There you go. We are right on that tapered uh, tooth surface. So now you know, cut on that machine surface, not the uh, flange surface. Okay, so what I did was I slid this outer cup in, and then once that was in, slid this inner uh, gear in. Um, now that they're both bottomed out, I'm just going to tack this real quick, pull the whole thing out, finish weld it, and we should be ready for final assembly. There's the finished product. Um, all right, I'll quit stalling now and uh, see if this actually fits. Oh my God, it actually worked. <laughs> Okay, got this cleaned up only because I don't have, um, I ordered some aluminum to make my own, um, but it's not here yet, so. And there we have it, one freshly converted Subaru all-wheel drive transaxle to two-wheel drive. If you have any questions about how I did it or why I made some of the decisions I did, just drop me a note in the comments, I'll be sure to answer them. If you're watching this too far in the future, I hope to remember, <laughs> unless I've done a bunch of these, which I certainly wouldn't mind doing, um, especially with the abundance of <laughs> grenade and WX transmissions out there, because they are kind of the 4L60 of the super world and <laughs> seemingly made of glass. Doesn't take a lot of power to blow them up, but you can upgrade the internals, obviously, um, which we're probably gonna end up doing, because uh, we won't know the actual <laughs> condition of this transmission until we get this thing on the road. But if you like this video, smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more content like this or on Project Becky or uh, Bruiser the Shop Truck or the Mighty Exploder Resurrection, make sure to subscribe because I do upload content weekly. Thank you so much as always for watching. And just remember on projects like this, sometimes you just need a little ingenuity. I will see you next time.